I think my voice is strong enough for you all to hear. Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is one of the proudest moments of my life. I spent most of the summers in my early years down at Ford Houses Cricket Club. Uh, Sharon and I were taken down by our parents, and uh, moms did the teas, and dads played cricket, and it was a great family affair. And uh, it was a great way to grow up. They used to give me Sixpence, which in your money is two and a half p. Go on the railway. Too. Yeah, to, to play on the railway and to, to run around the club. And ten minutes before the match started, I used to hide under the old pavilion with the with the ball, the new ball, and make him give me five pence uh, to, to give it them back so they could start the match. So very happy days. Um, I then went away to school and really lost touch with Ford Houses. But uh, just before my father died in 1991. Um, he asked me if I could look after Ford Houses' future because we really needed to move ground and potentially there was a lot of money for us to be made on the sale of the ground. Well, that was 21 years ago. Yeah. So th this journey, folks, this journey has taken 21 years to come to fruition. During that time, there's been a lot of hard work, thousands of hours put in by people, paid absolutely nothing because they love Ford houses. And then we found this place and we decided that we would move here. I think you'll all agree it's a fantastic setup. We've got 10 acres. We can have two matches going on at the same time. And we were lucky enough to get 350,000 off the council to improve it. And with our own funds, that meant that we've actually spent half a million pounds on this wonderful cricket club. I think without really bragging, it is one of the premier clubs um, in the in the area, um, there are some iconic people here today. Uh, the Brewers, who were part of the history. Tabby Beers was here today. Uh, Brian Smith's here today. People that uh, have been with the club forever. And what a, a fantastic tribute to Ford Houses that Ian has has agreed to come along today. Um, I've known Ian for over ten years. I played golf with him first of all in Scotland. Uh, I was playing with Ian and even Lendl was playing with another guy. They had a big bet on it, but of course BP sank a six foot putt and the last hole to square the match. So that's the sort of stuff the guy's made of. Um, I'm really, I can't say how pleased I am Ian that you've, that you've agreed to come today. It means a tremendous amount to all the people in Ford Houses, to all the people in Wolverhampton. And we really appreciate your time and effort. I know that you're going to have to dash off soon because you've got to get to uh, to launch tonight, um, hopefully for the start of a successful summer for our team. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so if I can just hand over to Ian before we cut the ribbon, just to, to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's an absolute, uh, these are the kind of things in life that we enjoy doing because without Fort Houses Cricket Club and many others like it around the country, there is no nursery in the Test Arena. So you go from here, you go to county, and you go, hopefully, if you succeed, to play for your country. And uh, that all has to start somewhere. And without this, it would never happen. So for Kevin to say to me when I come down here and do it, it was a privilege, a pleasure. I'm on my way to London, and I thought, well, who wants to get to London too quickly? <laughs> I certainly don't want to. And uh, I'm not in a rush, so I thought, right, I'm still off for a couple of hours, quite the journey. But you, you don't realise how lucky you were. Literally, three miles up the road from here, it was lashing it down, and we suddenly came into the sunshine. So, well done on that, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing surprises me with you. <laughs> but, uh, to, to all the youngsters here, You've got a great staging point here, a great place to start your career. To the elder gentleman, it's a great place to finish your career. Well, but uh, it's a social club, and I wish you all the very, very best over the next few years, many more years to come. And who knows, maybe you're due a test player to come out of. Yeah, yeah. So.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this wonderful new establishment, Port House Street Club. Kevin, Kevin mentioned uh, a promise he made to his father about trying to secure the future of the club. Um, on behalf, Kevin, of the members of the board houses, we put together a little montage which we've called the Threlfall Legacy. It's your legacy, right, oh. that you're giving us. I'm sure on behalf of everyone, we appreciate your dedication, your drive, um, for doing all, all you've done for us. So, take that on behalf of the club. Thank you very much. Thank you. 